was after my mission, and I decided to walk on to the BYU football team. Now, admittedly, I, I'd lost a little tone since high school. I was a defensive and all-state. But uh, I vividly recall Lavelle cutting me from the team. I'm sure he remembers this as well. But he was so, so good about it. He, he pulled me aside, and his words are still ringing in my ears when he said, Son, you don't have a chance as a football player, but uh, why don't you try something like seminary teaching? Starts. Uh, Lavelle's had such a great influence. I mean, I think he have a great influence on anyone that's, that's played for him for four years. Uh, there's been a lot of memories there. Uh, you know, all the glories, all the failures, all the long hours on the road. I mean, there were even some nights when I, I was almost asleep before I got home. Uh, but great influence there. And what would a good football team be without the pet band? Especially the tuba. I, I think Lavelle knows I was there. Well, Edwards has had a tremendous influence on my life. You know, I, I remember uh, as a young man, I vowed that I named my first child after LaBelle. And she's a beauty. <laughs> a few years ago, I'm a little ashamed actually to tell this story, but I bet a big gulp on the U of U BYU football game. It's a Polynesian friend of mine up at the U, last name Fall Off the Sofa. And LaBelle came through for me. I just want to thank him. I think that, that I've tried to apply those principles that LaBelle has taught me and you know, apply them into my life. Uh, for example, I, I'm working with the youth, uh, the teachers, the deacons. I'm trying to rally them all together into one group, as I've seen LaBelle do before. You know, call a few shots, make a few critical decisions, and uh, I think it's coming together. I think we're all unified in this, and uh, this roadshow is going to be incredible. You know, I feel like I can identify with Lavelle on a different level than others because I myself have a great deal of coaching experience. You know, I've tried to do everything I could to emulate his style of play. I've worn my hat like he wears his. I've adopted the uh, sideline game stance, as I like to call it. I've, and, you know, it's brought me great success. In fact, I was just voted by my fellow coaches as the most likely to go to the next level. And, you know, uh, Janet, Sharon, Rachel, you're, you're great coaches, and uh, they've all decided not to go on with the Pee Wee League and pursue interests as DIN mothers and PTA members, but I will take it to the next level. I will for LaBelle. I'm sorry. I love you. I think of all the BYU games that I've seen, the ones that I've enjoyed the most have been those that Lavelle has coached. And you can see his great influence, the effect he's had on everyone, especially his athletes, which in turn have had an effect on, on a lot of people. Uh, take for example, and that Danny Ainge, I mean, he's, a, he's an anchor for TNT. How could I show my appreciation for Lavelle Edwards? You know, I think the, uh, the ultimate way to show a hero that they are a hero is to do all that you can to get to know them and to personify the characteristics and the traits that make them so great. You know, uh, you watch them coach. Uh, sometimes you need to go through their garbage. Other times you need to try and bug the phones. You know, I remember the very first time that Lavelle ever talked to me, I believe the words were, um, you stay away from my house and family. I think that was it. I'd, I'd love to have a, reu a reunion one day with Lavelle, but uh, the restraining order prohibits that. But you know, nonetheless, I'm, I watch Channel 11 I live.
The hugs were nice, but I have no clue who these two guys are. Thank <laughs> you.